Hi everyone, welcome back to another day of Odd Animal ABCs. We are nearly at the end of the alphabet. Today we're on to letter W. Letter W stands not for walrus down here, but this creature up here on top of the letter, a wombat. If you're not familiar with wombats, they are animals that are native to Australia, and they're among the world's largest burrowing animals. You might have noticed already on the illustration here, they do have a sh small compact body with broad shoulders, short little legs, and flattened claws, which allow them to burrow or dig around in their environment. They also have a large naked nose, thick coarse hair, and small rounded ears. So as always, we'll go ahead and get right to it. Grab a piece of paper and a drawing utensil. Today, as you can see on my sample drawing, we're gonna turn the page so long end is facing you. We'll have our uh, wombat facing towards the right. So we'll start with the eyes. We'll do two dots about halfway up the page over on the right side here. So here's one, and then take that about maybe inch, inch and a half away from there. Their eyes are pretty small and close together. And then we'll finish that with our curve around the left side, just like the letter C. And then in the reverse direction, around the right. I mentioned that they have a rather large nose. So we're gonna do a round shape right in the middle here. And it's gonna be maybe about the size of a quarter or a little bit larger for the scale we're working with. So it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And then I'm gonna do two short lines diagonally to create his nostrils. From there, we'll finish his mouth. I'm gonna do a curve from the left side over to the bottom of his nose here. And then the same thing on the right. So starting at the center of his nose, just take that out to even it out on that side. They have small rounded ears, so I'm gonna draw those next, right above his left eye and then his right. So just an upside down U shape, really simple. And then we'll take it onto the other side. And then as always, I like to do one inside of it to give his ears a little bit of depth, a little extra detail. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add his hair across the top of his head. Like I said, they have thick, coarse hair that's typically gray in color, but when you end up coloring him in, know that you can do it um, any variation that you feel is right. And then to add a little bit more to his face, I'm gonna do some lines, a little bit of fur coming up from the left side of his nose and then on the right here as well. Next, I'm gonna finish his face by rounding it out. I'm gonna do the same hair treatment and take it down around below his mouth here and then up onto the right side. So we'll start here, again, giving him that fuzzy, rounded sort of face and then come back up over to the right. And there's his whole head done. His body is really simple. Again, it's kind of a squat, rounded little body. So we're gonna do one big curve starting underneath his left ear here. Take that all the way and tuck it under before we start his back legs. So here's one big curve and you can take up a good amount of space on the page. Next, I'm gonna do his back hip. Similar curve shape, but it's gonna be pointing in the opposite direction. So we'll start about halfway down his body here and then take that down almost to connect right here where we're gonna put his back foot. They have short stubby legs and um, flattened claws. So I'm gonna do a series of five little claws here. So it's just gonna be a loop. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So there's his back leg. And then his front leg, we're gonna start with another curve right here underneath his face. And then to that, I'm gonna add the same treatment with his claws. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm gonna take that curve about halfway up here so we can finish his short front leg. Next, I wanna finish his body before I put his other front leg behind him here. So I'm simply gonna just draw a curve from that foot up to underneath his face here. And then we just see a portion of his other front leg. So I'm gonna start taking the line right out just about in line with that first foot and I'm gonna do the claws here. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll draw that back to reach his body there. For the rest of him, I'm gonna do that short hair along his belly here. We're not gonna see his back foot because that's tucked behind him here. 
And then final details, all you need to do is just add a little bit more fur, right? We've done this before. Maybe it's just some lines along his back. You can add some to his legs and maybe to his entire body. They do have a tail, but it's actually really small and typically tucked underneath their body. Thanks for joining. We'll see you again tomorrow.